Cincinnati is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Get out. He makes his way out to about the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. First down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. Mike 51, Mike 51. Here we go. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. Loose football. Defense says they've got it. So the ball will change hands, and that'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's on the run, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. He's going to try and scramble. Room around the corner. He's taken off. Tackle made at the 36. That's a game of the play. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. That's a team of 14 yards on the way. First down. Mike 6. Mike 6. All right. Let's go. That's a great tackle at the 13-yard line. That's a team of nine on the way. Here we go. Here we go. That brings up second and nine. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. Ready. Now he tries to buy some time. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. This linebacker's had a couple of years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler as you can see from that last stop. From the six yard line, second down. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Cincy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 56-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bearcats are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play on the ground, and he won't get back to the line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Ready, Brought down at the 23-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. to the run, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. That'll bring up fourth and 13. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Pretty good job by the return man there. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Cincinnati is up a score. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. after a decent run up the gut. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 46. I think his quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. This one's going deep to the end zone. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Bearcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, I mean, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. He's taken down at the six-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the six-yard line. And he's tackled the 19-yard line. see out of a young quarterback. This has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 33. He's 
tackle around the 43 yard line. Two yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and I'm first down, no less. First down. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. Pitchers duel in that low scoring first quarter. Cincinnati leads 7 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A gain of about four yards on the draw. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Trying to sell the run, but ends up on the ground. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Cincinnati is up by a touchdown. Nice run there. Up the middle for a nice game. First down. Mike six. Mike six. 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 Just throws this one away. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They come out on an empty backfield. Steps up and goes down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And they get the sack. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks will get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. 
The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 43. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Cincinnati is up seven. Fine, big hit there to stop it. Tight end, and he's taken down at the 39. And he is drilled at the 37 yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Cincinnati can make this a two possession game with this field goal. It's up, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Nice run up the middle. From their own 29-yard line, second down. flushed and they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Ready. And he's level at the 18-yard line. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction and it seemed to confuse the offense. And that'll be three and out. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Cincinnati's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First down. Let's go! Deep ball, laying it out there. Picked off. It's the quarterback. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, you're ready to go. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Brought down in the open field. From their own 37-yard line. First down. First down. Tackle 
tackle made at the 44 yard line. And he's tackled right away. So they get it out there for about three yards, and that's a first down. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. It's first and ten. Ball in the 47. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Run it. Run, 18. Run. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's going left, and it's picked off. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Rose. Caught by the sophomore. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Easy, easy, easy. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Goes incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Looks to the end zone. Interception. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Second and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. We've played a half. The Bearcats lead 10-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The first half was far from perfect in terms of ball security, but, but it wasn't really that sloppy. Uh, many of the errors seemed to be errors of aggression, maybe fighting for extra yards, trying to make a play. So maybe you look at it from the standpoint, David, both teams feel as if they have a chance to take control of the game, so just cut down on the mistake. Yeah, you, you had successful drives, you had successful plays, but you keep making mistakes that keep setting you back. And it, it's always tough because running backs, they want to get those extra two, three, four, five yards. But a lot of times reaching that ball out or not tucking that ball away properly is more damaging than getting that extra yard. And so quarterbacks, they want to make the home run play. They want to throw it down the field, throw that nice little pretty fade where the girls are going to be talking about it later and they're going to be looking really good after the game. Sometimes you got to throw it away, throw it in the stand. So whichever team can right that wrong, can get those turnovers fixed, Offensively, they'll be fine, and defensively, it even helps them even more because it doesn't put them in bad situations. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Seven yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Tackle at about the 29 yard line. has had success getting after the quarterback. The guys lining up on defense right now are one reason why they've got the advantage in this game. There aren't too many people that thought they'd have the lead in this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Motion, motion, motion. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. They go to the left for a nice game. Gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. From the 15, tackle made at the 22. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Quick strike to the receiver. He's out to the 30, and he breaks another. Inside the 30. He's taken down right around the 14 yard line. That's a game 64 on the way. First down. Check, 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 check. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. Here we go. 98 Weasel. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. And he throws it away. Third and six. Ten yards to the end zone. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Cincinnati! the PAT. A four-play, 78-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Well, Brad, right now, this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 17-0.
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bearcat staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle after a decent pickup. Forward to about the 40. That's a gain of two. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 40. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. Third down. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Quick throw, caught by the fullback. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. the 15 yard line. It's first down. He's tackled at the 19 and that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. He steps out at the 18. That makes it second and eight. Tries to buy some time. Tries to get around the corner. And he tackles him hard at the 35. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 17 to nothing, Cincinnati. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Reset, tight right. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. All day. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss.
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Up the middle for a nice game. He's on the run. There he goes. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Let's go. Tackle for a loss. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. So we're looking at another third down here. He chucks it downfield. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That's a deep three. That makes it first and goal. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 82-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. They've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ready? draw here and they'll bring him down behind the line the offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers that way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level mike 51 mike 51 ready pressure coming he gets sacked on the play Loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Less than three minutes in the game. Let's go! Easy, 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 easy! Once and all, going deep. And he holds it in. Tackle made at the 25. And a big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. hit before it can go anywhere. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. Got it, and brought down immediately. Man, man, man. 
from the eight yard line. Second down. throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, K-State! He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. They'll go for two in this situation. He's got it for two. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Kansas State just took their first time out from the 35-yard line. It's second down. Wildcats use their second time out. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. First down. From the 15-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Kansas State's called their final timeout. A little over a minute in the game. And down he goes at about the seven-yard line. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Cincinnati with a first and goal and a big opportunity to really get some separation in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Cincinnati 24, Kansas State 8. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.